the environment has been big on the agenda uh, for the election, and uh, we've, the waterways issue has been big, and also the fisheries. Uh, this week, National announced two recreational fishing parks. It's an entirely new concept, fishing parks in a new Marine Protected Areas Act. But first, before we go to the panel tonight, we'll go to Damien. Well, oh look, we've just been we've just been talking about what we're going to talk about. Hello there, how are you? Yes, fishing. We're going to talk about fishing. Your husband's a crazy fisherman. My husband's an insane fisherman, but he's away at the moment, so I'm not sure how. We, I think he's going to feel uh, better about the stuff. About stuff. Well, I guess the thing is, Lucy, that what we what we're talking about is the balance between commercial and recreational. Now, your husband, mad keen fisherman, um, does has he said that it's getting harder and harder to find fish out there? Mm. I don't believe... I don't know. I'm not my husband. I'm not my husband. All right, what should we, what should we talk about? Should we, just have, a com should we just have a completely different like, no, topic tonight? I, I, I can't believe we're talking about the flag when there are, by the... We're talking about fish. ...social development's own estimates. There's 285,000 kids starving, um, you know, living beneath the breadline. So what are we talking about flags for? Are you kidding me? What about fish? Big issue? <laughs> Marine Reserve. It's, a, it's an enormous issue for a lot of people. All right, shall we find some of those people? Thank you, Liz. We'll come back to you. Now, who's, who's a mad keen fisher person? Russell Norman, you like, you like boats, don't you? Dicking around in boats? Yeah, I, I, I do like boats, but I'm, I'm more of a kind of go into the Marine Reserve and get in my, you know, bit of snorkel. Do you do your fishing in the Marine Reserve? That's not right, mate. Yeah, yeah. You of all people should know that's just not right. Jeez. Okay, what about, let's see, let's find someone who knows a thing or two about. Hello there, you've got a. You gotta, do you know about fishing? I know a little bit about fishing. Do you do a bit of fishing? Uh, no, but my, my brother does. My brother-in-law is a very keen fisherman. All right. Marine reserves. Good thing, bad thing? A very good thing. And, uh, yeah, we definitely need to lessen the quotas because fish... Yeah, mean, what's the right number of snapper to bring home on a day, then? Right now. Let's make up, some, make up some policy right now. Let's just say three. Three is enough. Enough to feed yourself and the family. If you've got a, if you've got a three-person member, okay, thank you very much. Well, who goes fishing here? Do you go fishing? Big time. Own a boat. You own a boat? Yeah, I own a trailer boat, and I go fishing as much as I possibly can. All right. So what for? Uh, mainly snapper, but I've done deep sea fishing. I've caught yellowfin tuna. I've caught. You caught yellowfin tuna? Absolutely. Yeah, I go big time fishing. Okay. Wow. Um, <laughs> Do you go fishing? No, my whānau does. My whānau goes fishing and they use and they, they eat out of the rivers and they eat out of the ocean and that's what we need to be protecting. Keeping our rivers clean and keeping our beaches free from oil is a way to make sure we can keep it for our kai. What about you, David Parker? When you're not sort of forming policy, do you go have a bit of a fish yourself? Yeah, a couple of times a year. One of the things I'm uh, quite committed to is actually improving the state of our estuaries, one of our forgotten habitats. We're promising a national policy statement on estuaries which are getting filled up with nutrients, um, you know, faecal coliforms and, and uh, too much silt. So we're going to do something about Tracy that. Tracy Martin, what about you? You're a fisher person? No, Winston's a strong fisher person. He's a person. very good fisher person, I'm, isn't he? I'm more into that environmental side, Whangateau Harbour, all those sort of things. Lila Harrow, what about yes, you? Yes, I do go fishing with my pink fishing rod, but my big success this year has been to finally convince Barry to sell our gas-guzzling boat. Um, and we do our fishing off the rocks. Oh, there you go. <laughs> And of course, um, you told me in the green room, uh, you, you fish for Maui's dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that true? Uh, no, I, I don't even eat fish. I would, why would I bother labouring for something I don't even want? What do you think about, <laughs> just before you, what do you think about the Maui's dolphins issues? How can we more protect species like that? Actually, unfortunately, the Maui's dolphins, I believe, have got below the population level for, on which they can, can survive. Wrong. That is absolutely wrong. <laughs> More, dolphins than there were black robins. More dolphins than there were black robins, but he'd have given up on that what? too. Uh, what we have to do, what we have, what we have to do to prevent the extinction of Maui and Hector dolphins is properly protect their habitat but, areas. But, but, but they are, they are, they are not a lost cause, and there are simple the way, and very oh, low on. cost methods. But by the way, it makes no difference to their prospects. I, I suggest. All right, that's enough.